Patrick String Brown here on day two of the 100 Days of uh, Creating Art Challenge, I guess I'll call it. Um, and unfortunately, a great way to start off the 100 Days is I was sick today, uh, so it was a little harder to get going, but still made progress. Uh, and like I said yesterday, what I'm doing is just having more... Uh, freedom to kind of work on any sort of drawing or project or anything. Uh, so I think for the first few days here, I'll be like finishing up half finished drawings that I've been doing over the last several months. Uh, and this is one of them. It's a uh, fan art drawing of a character from a game called Undertale, uh, which I played a while back and got really hooked on and actually like drew some fan art for, which is pretty rare with me. Um, but I had a lot of fun with them, and it was good practice to kind of get back into drawing because I, I'm still pretty rusty, so it was nice to have a sketch to work with, so I don't have to, like, I already have the base there, so it's easier to work with it from that point, so I don't have to, like, start from scratch right now, so it, it was good. And I actually made more progress than I was expecting to, um, pretty much... I'm trying to race the sun with these videos because I know the lighting is much better when I get it in the daylight, but it just happens that I end up recording at night most of the time. Um, so I was going to try and rush the drawing and just do 30 minutes uh, so I can get the video a little earlier, but at the 30 minute point I think I was like, well, I'm almost there, maybe I'll just finish it. So I just did another like 30-40 minutes to uh, finish up the line work. Um, and I'll color it later, but it's going to be like black and white color, and most of the lines are going to turn white. It's going to look interesting, hopefully, uh, and I might work that on tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, one thing, um, it, it's kind of rough drawing in front of the camera. I really forgot how difficult that is, because it's very much, um, it's not as relaxing oddly enough, because it, it feels like I'm being watched, because I know people will see these videos later, and I get really self-conscious about, like, how I'm drawing, or how much time I take on a certain part, or, like, just how it ends up, stuff like that, which kind of, it's a little, a little more stressful than just drawing on my own, but it also helps me keep a little more focused, so I don't, like, get distracted as much as I would if I was just drawing on my own. And it also kind of pushes me to work a little quicker. Uh, even though these are time-lapse, so, you know, I could have worked on this for hours, as far as you know, and it's just zoomed up. Um, it it still makes me want to really kind of work quickly, because I don't want it to show that I struggled on, like, drawing a foot for, like, half an hour or something like that, you know? Um, so it's good. It's it's good motivation, uh, and it's good to have kind of that sort of feeling of being uh, watched, weirdly enough, of uh, drawing, because it makes it harder to slip into the bad habits of, um, like, slacking off or watching videos or just getting distracted by music or whatnot. It's a little harder to do that when I know the camera's rolling, um, but... Yeah, uh, it's stuff I experienced in the last hundreds that I'm relearning this time, uh, like time management do, and all that sort of stuff, because I know these videos take a long time to do, and I don't do anything too major with them, but it still takes me at least, like, 30 minutes to make the video, and I don't know how long to encode it and then upload it and all that, so at least an hour's worth of work. Which is, so, <laughs> I end up spending more time on the videos than on drawing most days. Uh, I'm hoping to change that, which is why I kind of let myself just keep working on the thing, because I was in the moment, and by the time I hit that 30 minutes, I was actually uh, being more kind of free with it. I was getting out of that self-conscious zone, and being much more comfortable. So, uh, it, when I can, I think I'll try and do more than 30 minutes, because it'll let me kind of work through that uncomfortable, like, uh, self-conscious phase and really get into, like, the zen sort of feeling with it. Uh, which is something I haven't gotten into in a while, because I used to draw for hours and just, like, lose track of time and, like, oh, it's three in the morning now. Oops. 
Uh, and I just, you know, I do like having a good sleep schedule, but still, that was a lot of fun. So I'll be drawing more, hopefully, and not so focused on time limit. Just working on, you know, finishing things. So uh, that's pretty much it for today. I'll probably be working on maybe this one some more or maybe some other sketches. I've got lots of sketches. Uh, speaking of, uh, before we go, one thing I definitely need to work on is posting my work. Because, um, like, the uh, kind of sketchbook notepad from that I showed yesterday from work, I have a lot of sketches in there that I actually really like, and I would want to post them, but I haven't. And I have, a, like, probably dozens of sketches that I just haven't ever posted that I just did untraditional stuff and just never got around to it. So that's something I need to work on, too. So work on kind of getting zen and posting and sharing. The social media side is always tricky for me. But all that said, uh, it was a good day. Made some good progress. I'm getting back to the swing of things. And thank you very much for watching, everyone. I will see you all on day three.